How much does core count affect the export time in Adobe Premiere Pro 2019? The test system is my media computer with an i7-6950X 10-core 20-thread processor. I tested a 4K timeline exported to 1920 HD with 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10 cores and with 10 cores plus hyper-threading. The source video files and the export output were both to Alexar NVMe to reduce the disk I.O. overhead in the results. I used the BIOS hyper-threading flag option to disable the hyper-threading and the Windows MS Config Utilities processor count settings. The same 4K timeline was exported and a stopwatch was used to gather the data. This first graph is the amount of CPU usage for export by core count. We can see by this that at least 6 cores is desired, both to prevent processor saturation by Premiere and for a smoother user experience. This second graph is the length of time in minutes for export by core count. Jumping from 2 cores to 4 cores results in a significant performance improvement. Core counts above 4 have diminishing returns that are relatively constant. If we assumed that each hyperthread results in approximately 25% to 30% of 1 core in throughput, the 10 core plus hyperthread would be the equivalent of approximately 13 cores. I did notice that the entire Windows user experience was much smoother when I upgraded my media system from an i7-6800K 6-core to the i7-6950X 10-core, so the extra 4 cores are making a difference in Windows 10 and in Premiere Pro. Looking at these results, I would recommend a minimum of a 6-core processor with Premiere Pro and preferably more cores.